What's going on guys, it's your average consumer. So I got my hands on some alleged iPad Pro cases, of course by the hands of the greatest Apple leaker of all time, Sonny Dixon. And today we're gonna to be taking a closer look at it and comparing it to the current model. So let's not waste any time, let's get right into it. And all right guys, here we have the iPad Pro case. Now, first impressions, this thing is huge. No matter how I hold it, it's, I feel like this is going to be a very, very large device. Now, there have been rumors about this iPad Pro for years now. Different websites and blogs have been talking about it. There have been mock-ups, all kinds of stuff where people just felt like this was going to be coming out. And this is the first time that we're actually seeing some kind of tangible proof that it might actually be in the works. Rumors have stated that things like Mac OS X was gonna be able to run on it, it'd be able to run multiple apps at once where there'll be true multitasking for iOS, all kinds of crazy stuff. But rumors aside, let's actually take a look at this case and try to get an idea of what a possible iPad Pro could look like. Now, word on the street is that this is gonna be a 12 inch display, closer to 13 inches, and I believe the number that's floating around right now is 12.9 inches. To put that in perspective, that's larger than the 12 inch retina macbook that just got released and quite a bit larger than the 9.7 inches that you'll find on the current ipad air 2. now let's actually compare the size of the ipad air 2 to this case and as you can see it's quite a bit larger this thing pretty much swallows it up uh, i think that even the the screen size is going to be much larger than the entire ipad display so you guys can see a good look here this is going to be a huge freaking tablet. But now let's actually put the iPad Air 2 inside of this case. And let's take out this piece of paper that's supposed to represent the iPad Pro itself. And let's try it here. Now, just looking at this, uh, eyeballing it, the iPad Air, this, this doesn't fit inside the case that well. So the iPad Air is probably going to be a bit thinner than the Pro model. So. This is so much larger, guys. I can't imagine how this is going to be that comfortable. Now, let's also take a look. Since we do have the 12-inch Retina MacBook, let's take a look at this. It's even larger than that. So even with a 12-inch Retina MacBook, I guess because of the large bezels on the iPad, it can even fit inside of here. Of course, this is much thicker, but as far as the actual uh, length and width, this is actually going to be able to fit inside of that. And that's saying something. This is going to be a very, very large device. Now, let's take a look at some of the cutouts that you'll find on this case. So using this paper model, we'll have an idea of what kind of orientation the case is in. So at the top, you'll have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack cutout, as well as some cutouts for the speaker grill. And you've got a little power button here all the way on the right side of the top. To the right of that, we have a little cutout for the microphone as well as your volume button. So the volume up, volume down. And behind that in the same little section, we have our cutout for the camera as well as some a flash. Going down to the other side at the bottom, you find another two cutouts for speaker grills, which is very interesting to me. So that tells us we'll have stereo speakers for speaker grills. That's gonna be actually really impressive if that's uh, what happens here. And we also have a little cutout for the lightning connector, of course. Now on the left side, you do have another cutout, and this can mean up to three different things. This could be the cutout for another lightning port, which I think is kind of unlikely since there's one down here. Um, also, we could see a USB-C port, which would really have quite a few different options. Now this could just be a mistake and there's no reason for a cutout here whatsoever. There might not be a port there. I believe there was a leaked picture that came out today of the iPad Pro and what it might look like and it didn't feature another port down here at the bottom. But on leaks, the leaker of that picture did say that it was a bit dated, so things might have changed since then. <laughs> but I think the, least, the most likely here is going to be a USB-C port. Now think of it like this. If this thing does end up running Mac OS X, which I think would make this thing extremely expensive, but if it does end up running Mac OS X, we could see more use for all of those USB-C adapters that Apple has introduced with the new Retina MacBook. Now, this would give us access to flash drives, hard drives, all kinds of peripherals with the iPad Pro, and that's actually pretty awesome if you think about it. Now, another thing that comes to mind is that with this thing in landscape mode, 
there's potential here to plug in a keyboard. So think Surface Pro 3. You can have a, an attachable keyboard, dock this into it, and boom, you've got a pretty much a functional laptop. So this could be Apple's way of combating the Surface, not that it needs to, but this could be Apple's better take on what the Surface should be or how the Surface should run. And that could lead to a lot of potential. But like I said, that would make this cost a lot of money. I could imagine a, an iPad Pro with that kind of functionality costing a ton of money from Apple. But it would be very interesting nonetheless to see those kinds of possibilities. But pretty much that's it guys. What are your thoughts on this iPad Pro case? Uh, the whole idea of an iPad Pro in general, the idea of Apple making something that will run both iOS and Mac OS X. I think there's a lot of potential here, but I'm really worried about what the price point would be for something like this. But either way, if there is going to be such an item, we're gonna find out probably later on in the year. If this does come into existence, would you guys pick it up? Uh, does it sound like an interesting concept to you? Do you feel like you need a bigger iPad? Let me know in the comments down below. Hopefully you enjoyed this and definitely a thumbs up to Sonny Dixon for providing this uh, case so that we can actually talk about this and get an idea of what the new iPad Pro is going to look like. But hopefully you enjoyed it guys. Till the next video, it's your average consumer. Peace.